Hello and welcome to Guitars for Bars. I'm your host James. It is July 25th, 2018. I'd like to start off by thanking my subscribers and viewers for checking out my videos and my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys this guitar that's one of the very first ones that I painted with the airbrush type stuff and the automotive finishes. Uh, this is a requested video. I've got a guy named Paul up by Chicago that's thinking about buying this and he wanted to check it out. So like I said, it's my one of my very first, so it's got lots of flaws uh, in the finish. The artwork's pretty cool. A little odd here and there, as you'll see, but uh, it's pretty neat. I It's a Kramer Voyager. I bought it from Music Yo a long time ago, and it was like, 279 I think new and uh, I'm hoping to get about 225 out of it uh, so let's go ahead and I'm gonna flip it over and show you the back first because it's got uh, the worst of the worst on it okay this being one of the first ones I did I was hanging guitars then to paint them so I've got a lot of runs in it I wasn't using a block very much for sanding, so the finish didn't turn out quite as smooth as I would have liked. Uh, but it's still pretty cool looking, and it is the back, and you know, the backs get beat up from belt buckles and everything else. And uh, Paul, from what I understand, is planning on playing this out in the clubs and, uh, you know, just giving it hell. So uh, let's take a closer look at it. You can see there's a red and black kind of thing going on I just streaked some red actually I streaked the black over it the guitar was red when I started I painted it red first but here's what I want to show you in the finish this is like I said automotive paint so you can see it's shiny uh, I didn't have a buffer yet so I hand rubbed all this stuff that so could have been better uh, you can try to get you to see the reflection there so you can see what the finish actually looks like and uh, I might have to change, move it a little bit <clears throat> there's some imperfections in it it's not perfect it's not perfectly smooth I'm really not picking it up very good like this you can see a little bit of the there we go yeah see it's not perfectly smooth there I didn't give it as much effort as I would have were the ones I do now because like I said it's the back so it's going to get tore up from the belt buckle and you can see there's some bubbles there because I have a tendency to put the, the paint on too thick and they and it got little bubbles because the gas is released from the paint and they get trapped in there. So then when I sanded it, it exposed the bubbles and then they got a little bit of uh, rubbing compound in them. Once that happens, you can't get it out. But it's the back, so I just left it because originally I was planning on beating the crap out of this one in the bars myself. Uh, right now, I just... Uh, joined a band and we're looking for some members so uh i'm going to be playing some of the other ones but this one i uh, had already put it online to sell because i'm a little short on cash so it's getting sold hopefully now <clears throat> if it don't then i'll start playing it now i'll take a look at the front at the reflection you can see the front's considerably more smooth there's still little minor imperfections and scratches in it because I did play this one. Uh, right now it's got Duncan Design pickups in it and they are on a slanted mounting ring. I'm gonna switch those out because uh, the pickups are tilted under the strings and I don't like that, they should be flat. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch those out with some flat rings. Uh, sometimes there's, I still got little marks on it and stuff. I haven't wiped it down or anything. You guys are seeing it pretty raw right out of the case after it's been in there for a few years. Uh, the graphics, the picture itself, everybody's wanting to know, who is that, who is that? Ah, it's, it's from a magazine ad for hair color. I think it was Revlon or something like that. And it was a two-page ad, so, so it was like this was the left page and this was the right page. But she actually had hair in the ad. So I took a, took a photocopy of the page, blew it up to the size I wanted it to fit on the guitar the way I wanted, and I cut the pieces out with X-Acto knife. And I sprayed everything, just used a photocopy paper for stencils. And then I went back and then freehanded the stuff that you might want to call flames. There's, there's 
flame licks obviously and then this i was trying to do like a billowing if you see like a house fire or something the flames kind of billow out so it looks a little more organic than that so you move on over here and then you still you got some of that uh organicness uh a little bit more like hair down there then we got the flames up here again and some more you know kind of organic stuff and you get down here and uh we got a little face this little monster guy you can see the eye the ear the mouth the nostril uh that just happened that wasn't in the plan it just ended up on there and i left it uh and then down here well a water buffalo got in the picture but he's missing a horn this back of his head i don't know how he got in there i really don't but he did so I just left him. So and you can see the flames. So like I said, this is a little odd. I uh, and it was one of my first ones. I was trying to get a fire look, but I just got a little crazy. So I hope Paul and everybody likes that because it's kind of goofy. Now one of the flaws I want to point out, if I can catch it just right, there's a run. Did you see that? See that little edge right there? I got a run in it. Let's see if I can get it like that. Not really wanting to show up but from hanging it up i had a lot of problems uh with runs i got one there the yeah, you can see it uh that little bit of distortion in the reflection right there and then if you hold it up like this you can see i got a pretty good sag right there and i didn't bother sanding those out because i was going to play the crap out of this in the bars and eventually probably end up repainting it and uh being one of the first ones too you can see i didn't do any heel sculpting or anything but i did have to move the strap button because it was neck heavy the original hole was up here somewhere which which made the neck just fall straight to the floor so uh that pretty much covers everything about the guitar itself and the paint job i hope you guys like it so uh i'm gonna take it out and plug it in it's dark so i'm gonna hook up some lights and uh and just play it outside again in front of my garage and see what it sounds like uh, I, I would recommend paul or whoever gets this go get decent pickups put in it instead of these duncan designs are okay but if you're going to play it out you know put some put some real duncans in it or or some demarzios or something and uh you know that way it really sounds good and then play the heck out of it Okay, here it is. We're going to play a little bit through my 10 watt Marshall. I've got it on the bridge pickup right now. Now I want to remind you, this is one of my very first ones. So the electronics might be not the most perfect in the world. They're not the original. It's got a volume. It's got a tone. It's got a switch. I'm going to let my fingers off. I've got a little bit of buzz. It might be because of my motor up there. I don't know, but you know, it could use a little bit of tweaking. And like I said, some new pickups. So here we go. <laughs> with locking the strings down or anything yet they're new strings and uh, they need to get broke in so 
there it is. I want to thank you for watching the channel today. Please like and subscribe. And I'll do another video, hopefully in about a week, of one of the other ones that I've gotten finished. And I'm going to start doing a few cover songs once in a while. So check back to the channel once every week or two and see if anything's uh, up that's new. I've been pretty busy with my screen printing business lately. So that's taking up some of my time. But it's slowing down and I'm going to get back into painting again. So won't be long. We'll have some more painting videos up. Thank you very much.